Hello friends, welcome. Today I'll be making a video on the International Convention on Tonnage Measurement of Ships. It was adopted on 23rd of June 1969. Thus it is also called the International Tonnage Convention 1969. Although it came into force on 18th of July 1982. In this video, I will cover sufficient information which will be enough to pass your written exams or oral exams. And also I'll give you a great trick to remember the difficult formula for gross tonnage and net tonnage. So let's get started. So let me introduce you to this convention. It was adopted to introduce a universal tonnage measurement. Before this convention was adopted, the tonnage was measured in a way which was not standard. Thus this convention provided a method to measure the gross and net tonnage, both which are calculated independently. Both gross tonnage and net tonnage are important for the shipping because gross tonnage forms the basis for manning regulation, safety regulations and registration fees. Net tonnage is a great indication for the cargo capacity of the ship. Both net tonnage and gross tonnage are used to calculate the port dues. This particular convention does not really apply to warships and ships which are less than 24 meters or ships only trading in inland waters. Now the use of tonnage measurement is that it helps in deciding the freight charges. When you want to know the cargo carrying capacity, let's say shipper is interested or charter is interested, he would easily find out using the net tonnage of the ship to calculate port dues, pilot dues, harbor dues and even the lighthouse dues are calculated using the tonnage of the ship. It is also used for insurance coverage, the sum which is liable by the underwriters and for regularity authorities for deciding on the requirement like the number of LSA, FFA, certificates, records, documents and rules. As seafarers it is important for us also because for competency certificates also the gross tonnage of the ship is important. Now let's talk about the rules which are set in the tonnage convention. The set of rules and guidelines for measuring tonnage contains formula and guidelines to use enclosed spaces. Spaces which are not used in calculation are excluded spaces. Tonnage measured using the tonnage convention is called international tonnage. Let me give you a brief about net tonnage and gross tonnage. When you purchase something, anything from the market and it comes in a box, there is a net value of it and a gross weight of it. Net is basically the main content that you are interested in. What is the weight of it? Like when you buy a shampoo bottle or a soap, the weight which is written on the packet is net, which basically means that you are interested in how much soap or shampoo is there in the bottle. They can make a bigger bottle, increase the density of it, make it of a different material and write anything in gross. But the requirement says that the customer must know the net value of the product he is buying. And gross is everything, which is the package, the packing material inside and anything else. In the same manner, the complete ship is like a packing material for the cargo it is carrying. Thus, cargo carrying space is called the net tonnage. And the overall packing material, the ship and close spaces are called gross tonnage. Now let's find out more about these two. Gross tonnage is the function of molded volume of all the enclosed spaces of the ship. Gross tonnage is the measurement of overall size of the ship determined in accordance with the provision of tonnage convention. The formula for gross tonnage is K1V where K1 can be calculated by using the formula K1 is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.02 log V and V stands for the total volume of the all enclosed spaces of the ship. K1 can also be calculated using the table which is given in appendix 2. Now a trick to remember this formula can be gross tonnage which is like building a very huge ship is equal to kv and this kv can be the initial of any celebrity that you know. In my case I can just say it's Karamveer people who are working hard and uh, who are working in the shipping yard they are Karamveers that means they are working and they are strong. So Karamveer is equal to gross tonnage that the gross tonnage all over the world is created by Karamvis. So this way you will remember the formula. Now let's move on to the net tonnage. Now net tonnage is the volume of the cargo carrying capacity of the ship. 
net tonnage is produced by the formula which is the function of the molded volume of all cargo spaces of the ship net tonnage shall not be taken as less than 30% of the gross tonnage net tonnage means the measurement of useful capacity of the ship determined in accordance with the provision of the convention and the formula for net tonnage is k2vc 4d by 3d whole square plus k3 n1 plus n2 by 10 brackets closed now this formula is a little more complicated than the gross tonnage formula which was very simple kv karamveer so in this case we have to make a story story which will include some bollywood stars if the listener is not aware of the bollywood stars that i'm going to use then they can use their own celebrities starting with the same initials so i have to connect nt with the formula so nt can be a natak so natak will remind you that it's going to be a story for this formula then the celebrities i'm going to use are going to have initials for k2 vc k3 so for me k2 means karina kapoor because two times k vc is vicky kaushal vicky kaushal is the actor who was there in the movie uri then k3 is the elder sister of karina kapoor so karishma kapoor i'm assuming she got married to some kumar so karishma kapoor kumar okay so here's the story so natak begins it's equal to karina kapoor and vicky kaushal are coming back from a date vicky kaushal is dropping her outside her house and now i want you to imagine everything very clearly the better you imagine the more chances of you to remember this formula so karina kapoor and vicky kaushal are standing and karina kapoor opens the door so the bracket opens and karina kapoor says it was a great date and vicky kaushal says yes same here and then karina kapoor offers would you like to come inside and let's watch a movie and vicky kaushal smiles and says what kind of movie 4D and then he looks down at her or 3D she lets him in closes the door and says both so basically what this whole thing is signifying is the door opening and door closing is the bracket open bracket, bracket close 4D or 3D is the movie 4D by 3D is the formula and when she says we are going to watch both the movies it means square root and the door is shut and then the scene is over the next scene is after this is over plus now karishma kapoor walks into the scene so k3 is karishma kapoor and she knocks at the door same door and the door opens there is a servant who is standing there and karishma is saying is karina kapoor at home i want to meet her and the servant says no this is the first time he is saying no so n1 and then karishma kapoor insists i know you're lying you're lying for her all the time i know she's in there with someone i want to meet her but karishma kapoor had given strict orders that nobody should be allowed inside even her family so he says no ma'am she's not here so this is the second time he's saying no so n1 first time no plus n2 second time no and now karishma kapoor is getting aggressive she tries to walk in but the servant pushes her and she falls down and says madam why don't you understand do you want me to say it 10 times she is not inside so basically the second time no karishma kapoor is pushed away and she falls down and he says 10 times do you want me to say no and then he closes the door and the formula is up so it was the natak of bollywood and i guarantee if you just visualize it properly you will not forget this formula at least one day before the exam you can easily remember this formula in just couple of minutes then moving ahead this 4d by 3d whole square is required that this factor shall not be taken greater than unity the k2vc 4d by 3d whole square overall shall not be taken as less than 0.25 gross tonnage and finally the third rule the net tonnage shall not be less than 0.3 times the gross tonnage now vc here stands for the total volume of the cargo space in meter cube k2 formula is again the same which was there for the k2 
k1 0.2 plus 0.02 log vc instead of v in the first formula here we have vc that's the only difference and similarly you can also calculate this using the table which is given in appendix 2 then k3 is 1.25 then brackets gt plus 10,000 by 10,000 and if you are interested in remembering this formula through a story then again k3 is Karishma Kapoor is equal to 1.25 so imagine that she is going at a speed of 125 on the Grand Trunk Road and she is fined for 10,000 rupees and then when she is coming back again on the reverse journey which is whole upon she was again fined for 10,000 and this time people asked why were you fined the second time you were not even going at a higher speed and she says my tail light was busted so a 10,000 rupees fine for the tail light being busted indicates GT plus 10,000 whole upon 10,000. So I hope so far the formulas have been made easy. So moving ahead, understanding the formula completely, the big D, capital D stands for the molded depth midshipman meters. And small d stands for the molded draft midshipman meters. So the capital D is for the bigger distance and small d is for shorter distance. Then N1 is the number of passengers in cabins. N2 stands for number of passengers which are other passengers. N1 plus N2 is equal to the number of passengers permitted to carry. So let me tell you some other important terms which are important in the International Gross Tonnage Convention. The first one is certifying authority also called the class. This is the authority which issues the international tonnage certificate after surveying and measuring spaces and calculating the gross tonnage and net tonnage as per the above formula. Then the next point is cargo spaces. Cargo spaces are the spaces which are to be included in the calculation of net tonnage. Spaces appropriate for the transport of cargo and these areas or these spaces shall be marked with letter CC which stands for cargo compartment and the size of these markings shall be more than 4 inches. Then next is enclosed spaces. Enclosed spaces are the ones which are bounded by the ship hull, by fixed or portable partitions or bulkheads, or by decks or coverings. Then the next term is excluded spaces. These are the spaces which are not included in the volume of the enclosed spaces. These are the spaces which are used for running the ship, like bridge, machinery spaces, steering gear room, etc. Next term is weather tight. Weather tight means any space where the water will not penetrate in any sea condition. Next question is about the certification. What is the information which is given in the international tonnage certificate? Now obviously if a certificate is issued to the ship, the most important information is the identity of the ship. And what constitutes the identity of the ship? That is the name of the ship, port of registry, official number of the vessel. And then like a person's identity is incomplete without the date of birth. Similarly for the ship, date of keel laid. So these are the informations which must be there. In addition, because this is a tonnage certificate, the length, breadth, molded depth of the ship, gross tonnage and net tonnage must be included. Also, a tonnage certificate is valid until there has been some major modifications that are made on the ship. So, if there is a modification or alteration made, then that date on which the ship underwent a major alteration or modification must be included in the certificate issued. So far, this information must be there in the front of the certificate. Now, there are certain informations which are included behind the certificate. And that information includes list of all spaces included in gross tonnage and net tonnage with the name of the spaces location and length then list of excluded spaces number of passengers molded draft date and place of original measurement date and place of re-measurement if any then builder of the vessel year built place built number of masts etc this certificate is valid till any alteration is made in the form or capacity of the ship or if any error is discovered in the initial measurement. 
so here we end the complete international tonnage convention i hope it was a useful video for you if you have any feedback suggestion or comment then please do write down below all the best for your exams and as always thank you for watching